Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. Welcome to day three of 21 days masterclass in Python. In today's session, we are going to cover operators in Python. You must be thinking operators. This is very simple topic. Yes, it is. However, it is a very, very important topic because if you do not understand this topic fully, so there are chances that you make mistakes while creating complex programming solutions. So without wasting time, let's start with our today's session. In today's session, you'll understand what are operators, their meaning, and what are operands. And different types of operators, including arithmetic, relational, logical, assignment, augmented, identity operators, membership operators, and of course, what their precedence. So let's start by having an understanding about what operators are in any programming language, including Python. So operators, as the name implies, these are the symbols which are used to perform some kind of operation. Operation means addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, any kind of operation, whether it's mathematical, relational, logical, or just a simple assignment operator. So operators, they act on operands to produce a result. Now, what are operands? Operands, these are the values on which any operator works. So these can be variables, constant, expression, or a literal as well. For example, if A equals 5, here symbol is equal to. So that's the operator. A is a variable, 5 is an integer value. So here what we are doing, we are just assigning 5 to A. So which operation we are performing? Assignment. Whatever is on the right hand side is being assigned to the variable which is available on the left hand side in second example if we see result equals a plus three here plus is the arithmetic operator a and three they are the operands and assignment operator is also used which is equal to sign so calculation of addition a plus three will be assigned later to result variable okay now let's understand what are different types of operators in Python. We can divide them on two bases. One, number of operands which are required to perform an operation and type of operation that a particular operator carries. On the basis of number of operands, we have unary and binary operators. Means unary just one oper operand is required to perform any kind of operation. For example, negative one. You don't need any other operand to tell whether a particular number is uh, negative or positive. Another one unary operator is not A, just negating the value of something, not operator. So we'll learn about these operators in detail. Right now, you just understand what's the meaning of unary and binary. Unary, just one operand is required to perform the operation. For binary, you need at least two operands to perform a particular operation. For example, addition, division, multiplication. So you need at least two operands, a plus b, x plus y, 5 plus 6, 5 minus 5. So two operands are required. Second is on the basis of type of operation, we can divide operators into arithmetic, relational, logical, identity, membership. So we are going to understand about each one of these in detail in today's session. First of all, arithmetic operators. So from the name, it is very clear that arithmetic means any kind of mathematical operations that we perform on a particular value or a variable. So for performing these operations in Python, we have seven operators, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, 
modulus, flow division, and exponentiation. Just have a look at the symbols used for these. To understand these in a better way, I'll just take you to the Python shell. To understand this, let's type here. If I type 5 plus 8, so you get the answer. So plus is the arithmetic operator. Let's say 10 minus 7. Again, it's working. So working on two operands, right? Now, multiplication, 5 into 5, 25, right? Division, now understand this, 6 by 2. Answer is always a float value with the decimal point, right? So 6 divided by 2 gives me 3.0, 3.0. So if I write 4 divided by 3, even the answer is in float value. Now, 4 floor division 3. So up there, this is just a division, normal division. So it gives me result as a float value. So if I divide 4 using floor division, so it's also division. However, it gives me just the integer part of the result, whole number as a result, no decimal values. Okay. Now, another operator is modulus operator. So if I divide 4 by 2, I get 2.0, right? Now, if I divide 4 by 2 using modulus operator, I get 0 as an answer. Using modulus operator also, we divide. However, in answer, we get remainder, right? Division gives us division in uh, float value. Flow division gives us answer in integer value, whole number. And modulus operator, it divides two numbers and gives us the result, just the remainder part of it. So if I divide 4 by 2 using modulus operator, it gives me 0. However, if I divide 5 by 2 using modulus operator, so 5 modulus 2, will give me 1 as an answer because 1 is the remainder of when we divide 5 by 2. Okay. Now, last but not least, we have exponentiation. So, double multiplication sign. So, 5 raised to power 2. So, exponentiation means raised to power. So, 5 raised to power 2 means 5 into 5. So, 25. So, if I write 5 raised to power 3, so 5 into 5 into Five, which is 125. So these are seven arithmetic operators in Python. Now let's move towards relational operators. Relational operators, we have six in Python and these are used to compare values and answer is always a Boolean value, either true or false. So we compare two values, whether they are equal, not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So these are six relational operators. Let's understand. So if I write A is equals to 10 and B equals to 5, let's say. Now if I compare A greater than B, so A is having 10, B is having 5 in it. So if I write A greater than B, it will give me true as an answer because yes, A is greater than B. And if I write A less than B, it will give me false as an answer because A is not less than B. A is 10, B is 5, right? If I write A greater than equal to, uh, A is 10. So if I write A greater than equal to B, which is true because A is greater than if not equal. So either if greater or equal, it will give me true, otherwise false. If I write A greater than equal to 10, A is 10, right? So if I write A greater than equal to 10, even then it will give me true because A is 10. So either greater or equal will result in true. Now, if I write B less than equal to 5, 
that's also given true because b is 5 here. So either equal or less will give me true. So if I write b less than equal to 6, even then it will give me true because b is 5. So b is less than equals to 6. So if I write b less than equal to a, it will give me true because a is 10. So b is 5. So 5 is less than or equal to 10. Now, if I write b less than equal to 1, that will give me false because no, b is neither less nor equal to 1. So that's why false has an answer. Right? Now, uh, we also have equality operators. So if a equals to equals to b, if I need to check whether both the values are equal or not. So a equals to equals to b is giving me false. Why? Because a is 10, b is 5. So answer is false. If I write a not equal to b, then answer is true. Because yes, a is not equal to b. If I write a equals to equals to 10, then answer is true. Right? Because a is 10 and it's compared with the value 10. So, these are relational operators. We use relational operators in conditional statements, in iterative statements, in loops, etc. So, very important to understand these operators. Then comes logical operators. Now, logical operators, they are used to combine two or more statements. So, if you have two conditions in if statement, if is a conditional statement, if you have two st uh, conditions to check, you also want to check whether some value is greater than five and you also want to check that two values are equal or not. In such conditions, you have to combine those statements using logical operators. We have three logical operators and or not. So here, how th do they work? So and works, if you check x and y, then it will return x if x is false, else y. If you check, check x or y, it will return y if x is false, else x. Not x is a unary operator and will return true if x is false. To understand these in detail, let's go to Python shell. So let's say you have x is equals to 2, y is equals to 3, or uh, you, you write not 0. You get answer true. If you write not 1, you get answer false. If you write not true, you get answer false. If you write not false, false is uh, not and false both are uh, keywords. So not false will give you true. So that is how not works. Not is unary operator will work on just one operand and will give you opposite of what is given to it. So if you are uh, giving, uh, if you are putting not along with a true value, it will give you false as a result. If you are putting false along with not, it will give you true as a result. So it negates whatever is put along with it. Now, let's understand AND operator. Now, if you want to check that x is equals to equals to y, right? And it also should be, this condition also should match. So, x should also be greater than, let's say, 1. Now, up there, if you see, x is assigned a value 2 and y is assigned a value 3. So, if you see here, x equals to equals to y. Is it equal? No. So answer is false. So this gives you false here. So once you get false here, you Python will not check the next condition because and works and results true 
when both the values conditions which are combined together if they both are true then your answer is true otherwise you get false answer so if first value is false then python will return false it will not even check the next value so here false is the answer okay to check or so x equals to equals to y or x greater than 1 now here if you see x equals to equals to y it is false it is not true because 2 is not equals to 3 right so this statement gives you false however here if you look x greater than 1 yes x is greater than 1 x is 2 so 2 is greater than 1 so you get true here so here or how or works if any one of the condition is true you will get true as an answer you will get false as an answer only if your next statement is also false so both the statements are false then only you get a false as an answer x equals to equals to y or x greater than 1 enter it gives you true so i hope you understand logical operators here now next is assignment operator very simple you start using equals to when you start learning python so equal to basically assigns whatever is on the right hand side to the left hand side variable on the left hand side you always have a variable on the right hand side you can have a value integer value float value a literal or you can have an expression also okay so simple assignment now next we have augmented assignment operators now augmented assignment operators means that you combine some operator along with the assignment operator so here we have add and assign very commonly used mathematical operators along with the op assignment operator so plus equals to minus equals to multiplication equals to division e and assignment modulus and assignment flow division and assignment so let's explore them one by one so if i write x equals to x plus one so because x is equals to four so if i print x it will give me five right x equals to four x is equals to x plus 1 means whatever x is having i am adding 1 to it and i am again assigning it to x right so when i print x i get 5 as an answer so now x is having 5 in it okay same thing x is equals to x plus 1 i can also write it like this x plus equals to 1 so now if i print x it will give me 6 because x was having 5 in it so when i did 5 x plus equals to 1 it added 1 to 5 and result is 6 now so let's try to add 2 in it so x plus equals to 2 so now it will give me 8 as an answer okay simple so augmented assignment means we are combining arithmetic operators along with the assignment operator to shorten them so instead of writing long statement like this we write it like this so you can combine any of these operators you can combine uh, addition subtraction multiplication division modulus flow division exponentiation even bitwise and bitwise or bitwise x or right shift and left shift shift operators also can be combined along with assignment operator okay now next type of operators that you need to understand is identity operator now identity operators we have two is and is not these operators are used to compare the identity of objects that is to check if two objects they refer to the same memory location so if you have uh, uh, both the values referring to the same memory location then if you apply is operator to them it will result in true and if they are not referring to the same memory location it will result in false so here also result is a boolean value either true or false 
true in case both the values are referring to the same memory location false if they are not referring to the same memory location next we have membership operators we have two membership operators in and not in now in operator it checks if value is present in a sequence we have learned in my our last video what are sequence data types so you can revise that by going to day two video here in operator it checks if a particular value is present in a particular sequence in list or tuple or in string and not in checks if the value is not present in a sequence so to understand this in a better way let's go back to python shell so let's say we have a list list equals 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma let's say cs with s k s there should be comma because elements of list are separated by comma okay so i have four elements in a list and i close the bracket and create it now i need to check that whether some value is present in this list or not so let's check four in list list is with capital l it is resulting in false because four is not present in this list so if i check one in list it will result as true because four was not present so false one present so true so this operator will help you when you will use conditional statements right whether this element is present or not present in that scenario in and not in will help you so if i check for not in list it will result in true because four is not present in the list which we have created so that is how membership operators they work you can also use them along with tuples you can also use them along with strings so that is how they work now let's have a look at operator precedence means which operator will be worked upon first and which will be worked upon later so in mathematics you all have heard about board mass right brackets and there is a precedence of all the operators similarly in python or any programming language there is precedence set for all the operators so this is for python operators highest on top and lowest at bottom so first of all parentheses then exponentiation operator then unary plus and minus then multiplication division and modulo then addition and subtraction bitwise shifts bitwise and and so on that's all about operators now it's assessment time for my students i am displaying six questions for you you all please go through these try to solve them i'll display answer key in the end and then you can check your answers so please start solving here is the answer key please compare your answers see you in the next video thank you